Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about three stocks and upcoming catalysts in these three stocks and why you guys should be looking in these three stocks as well. So America, Total Energy Resources, Slash Meta Materials and IDX, Ideonomics. Now, if you guys are new already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and hit that like button if you enjoy today's video, guys. It will mean a lot to me as well, guys. If you guys want to also join a complete free Discord where we talk about the stock market, crypto market, completely free to join, free Discord. Hit that link in the description below come join and yeah let's get started so do your own damn research now that this is financial advice i'm telling you now do your own damn bloody research guys you gotta do your own damn research so you know what you buy you know what you hold and you won't be scared about a little dip in fact you buy the dip if you know what you hold so yeah none of this financial advice i'm just giving you guys my own opinion my own research my own due diligence my own take this is only for entertainment purposes only and yeah let's get it started so the first stock we are actually going to be talking about on your screen is called Zomerica. Now, Zomerica is a, a veterin pet veterinarian company that is focusing on, you know, the health side on pets. Cats and dogs are the main focus. They released a product called Traforma Diagnostic and they made an early sell. The Traforma Diagnostic was set to launch on March 30 this year. In fact, it launched on March 16. They made an early sell to a New York veterinarian hospital and that's very good as on that same day BlackRock one of the biggest institutions out there decided to buy millions of shares I think it was 8 million to be exact and on top of that they already own shares since last year even Vanguard Vanguard own shares BlackRock own shares since last year BlackRock bought more bought a lot more last month in you know as soon as their Traforma diagnostic launched Vanguard also bought more, but they bought it early March. So Vanguard bought uh, Zomerica early March, March 1st. Now they're still holding, they didn't sell the positions. And I just want to say that's very good stuff there. Now the next big catalyst for Zomerica, you guys need to know they commercialized one of their products that they're getting ready to launch later on. They're about, you know, pet veterinarian and all that. Their devices are like proper portable, like they're so small. And that's a very good thing. Results come in under 18 minutes. And um, they only have one product right now, Traforma Diagnostic. But they are partnered with the oldest pet industry you know, company out there called Miller. Miller are going to help them sell whatever product they have. Miller are in fact helping them sell the Traforma Diagnostic. I'm very bullish on Zomerica by the way. So I could see this long term going $10, short term going $5 and I'm telling you now this is going to happen. You know we've been in a market crash for the last six weeks. Stocks have been affected hard but I know Zomerica is going to be dumb stocks that recovers easily. So um, below $2 is such a still in my opinion and yeah Zomerica is going to recover. Now the next big catalyst for Zomerica could be the next two products. Yeah, the, the next two products, one already been commercialized, but I'm going to say the next big um, catalyst for Zomerica is going to be the earnings. The earnings are set to drop mid-May, hopefully mid-May next month. Um, and it's going to give us a little bit of an idea, hopefully, on how to form a diagnosis going on, how they're coping in the early stages, hopefully. So that's Zomerica's earnings. Hopefully, you know, we see some good news around Traforma if they can drop that next month. I'm, I'm going to be even more bullish, you know, because I know they're going to make a lot of money just from the Traforma diagnostic in early stages. Knowing that they already made sales before they decided to launch, very good. It shows you how veterinarian companies already want the um, device, you know, they started buying before it was meant to launch. So yeah, now it's out. So things you love to see. So that's that. I'm very, I'm very bullish on Zomerica, man. You guys need to do your research on this. You guys are going to like this. Let's move on to Torchlight Energy Resources, my favorite stock as well. So Torchlight Energy Resources, you guys know I'm very bullish on this stock. They are merging with Meta Materials and the ticket symbol of TRCH is going to be changing to MMAT. So um, Meta Materials ticket symbol and Torchlight Energy um, ticket symbol is going to be both changing to MMAT after the merge. And you guys already know Meta Materials already approved the merge. Meta Materials is a technology company. And if you guys want to know the current ticket symbol right now it is MMATF. And after merge it's going to be MMAT. So um, I'm very bullish on Meta Materials. Hence why I decided to buy big on Torchlight Energy Resources. Because I'm not buying Torchlight Energy Resources for oil and gas. No. In fact, Torchlight Energy Resources are starting to sell their oil and gas to pay out a big ass special dividend 
to everyone that's holding the shares. So if you are holding Torchlight Energy Resources, you are going to be paid special dividends, special dividends. If you're holding Meta Materials, you are going to be given extra shares. For one Meta, meta Material um, share you hold, you're going to be given three back. So, you know, if you're holding 10, that's what, 30? So that is a lot of shares you're going to be given on top of what you're already holding. Um, sadly, Meta Materials is not on Trading 212 now. Don't worry, all right? Because Torchlight Energy Resources ticket symbol is going to change. TRCH is going to change to MMAT. We are going to be holding Meta Materials no matter what broker we on. Meta Materials is going to be NASDAQ compliance because of this merge. So don't worry, guys. I keep saying don't worry about it. Like everything is still the same. The merge is going to happen. The CEO of Meta Materials keeps saying the merge is going to happen. And yeah. And the upcoming catalyst is obviously the merge, special meeting, um, a bit of an insight on Meta Materials, more insights on them. We know they're already, you know, a good company with a lot of good partnerships and the stuff they're focused on. You guys need to look into it. It's very good. I made several videos on it as well. Meta Materials, very good. Remember, the catalysts are this year. We're expecting special dividends payout for Torchlight Energy Resources. I'm looking at three to four dollars a share, knowing that Torchlight Energy Resources started selling the oil and gas assets as he was going up to his highest you know all-time highs so I'm, I'm looking at three to four dollars minimum a share i'll be very happy with that i'll take it merge is going to pump up this stock as well two catalysts there extra shares for meta materials and the fourth one i'm going to say holding meta materials alone is going to be a big catalyst after this merge and the merge is going to happen in under 45 days by the way so i just want to say holding meta materials is going to be the biggest thing that you know is going to be it's going to be the best thing about this um stock buying torchlight energy resources and after merge it's going to be the best thing i can't wait to hold be, be holding meta materials the fundamentals and the catalyst and everything that you know about what they do their work their earnings everything's on point i'm very happy with this i can't wait for meta materials to shine and yeah let's move on to idx 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 ideanomics now their latest catalyst that already dropped was their earnings and it was insane yeah their earnings was insane and i just want to say you know ev is the future and i know idx is going to play a big role in you know the ev sector now i kept telling my discord below three dollars on ideanomics idx is a good price to start your entry points because i know ideanomics is going to go above three dollars as soon as their earnings came out their earnings were so good they went up more than 25 percent on the same day the earnings came out as more people are looking into this more people are bullish on this and it shows ideanomics are doing a very good you know business like gross profits for 2020 was 2.1 million dollars which represented a gross margin of 7.7 percent gross profits from for two, uh, 2019 was 43.1 million principally from the sale of digital asset management services which had a gross margin of almost 100 percent um like their earnings was basically insane and i could go through i could go through it all i already made a several video i mean a separate video on it the earnings and what i have to say again to you guys is listen if a company is blowing up in earnings in a in a um, pandemic it tells you enough it tells you enough like this company made so much money in just in a pandemic in a pandemic in a full year they made so much money um so you could see their balance sheet everything is just basically gone up like nothing really went down total assets total oh um, everything yeah i just love looking at their earnings everything's gone up revenue as well has gone up massively um yeah their earnings has just been insane so that's why i'm very bullish on um idex it's an ev company and i know ev is going to take over in the near future it's already you know playing a big part in taking over our lives and i said ev technology and all these stuff are going to take over the future it's already starting these are baby steps it's taken and you gotta be on in on them plays at these baby steps so you see great earnings in the near future and that's what you want to see so guys make sure you look into it idex ideanomics very good man the company their earnings report did me enough they did me good enough as in i was just 
so happy to see them smash their earnings it went up so much and um, it tells you once again enough about a company enough about a stock it tells you how good they are and you know it kept me bullish it kept me bullish on this that's why i want to say that was the biggest catalyst and i know they're just going to keep dropping more products in the near future they're going to you know they're going to be above ten dollars at the end of the year that's my price prediction for ideanomics um yeah that's what i have to say hit that subscribe button if you guys are new around here let me know down in the comments if you guys are holding any of these stocks and if so, why are you holding them? I want to know why you guys are holding them. If there's anything you put, you know, specifically like about these stocks, what is it? And what is keeping you holding for a long term instead of a short term? And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.